throughout the galaxy, there are countless of worlds that contain some very unique life. Some of the planets that, that some people may not even believe is even possible that kind of life that evolved. On one particular planet is the planet Oryx. The planet Oryx is a world located in other territories. Eventually, the planet would be colonized by humans. But at some point after they colonized the world, when the colonists discovered the native life form on the planet was something unusual, even something that they never even expected to exist, the native life form was by the name Shart, a silicon based crystal life form. The species were around 11 to 15 inches length. And it was something that they never even expected. The crystalline species charts. This is something that most people would not even expect them to even exist. This was something that was taken from their imagination of a, a sentient life form. Even though the charts live in colonies that can consist of hundreds of thousands of individuals, and they all is connected to a group mind by their natural electromagnetic communication abilities. They even can reproduce themselves by growing a new shard directly from an adult one, and it could live for millennia before they eventually would succumb to the end by natural erosion. And as is unexpected, they have been living long life and not been able to move, but they are very patient and spend all their time in a, a slow thought process. Even the political decisions among the shards were made by mutual sentence, the, the debating, which sometimes could took centuries to even conclude this final decision. Even when the human colonists on Oryx discovered that the shards were sent in life, something that they never even expected to even exist, but they managed to develop a translated unit which allowed this crystalline species to communi communicate with them by electromagnetic pulses to audible speech and vice versa. They were even curious to know well about other worlds, and there were even some of the shards was actually voluntarily to be detached from the colonies and being attached to some specialized modified droids with even to walking around. They were even to begin trade mineral rights for to access to droids and computer technology. And even though that this was something that unusual that most the shards never even expected to be happening. But they even made contact with the Galactic Republic during the fur during this last few decades of existence. Even many of the shards became an ambassadors with for the Galactic Republic. But soon, when the Galactic Empire came to power, some of them were actually destroyed. Even though that the shards is an inorganic life form, some of them were discovered to be force sensitive. And that was actually discovered by Jedi Master Akinos. Akinos discovered when he came to the planet Oryx when he encountered a female shard by the name Ilum and her 12 children, all to be, be being force sensitive. He managed to convince her to allow him to train her and her children the way of Jedi. So they, he took them to the planet Duin, installed them in droid bodies and trained them on the way of the Jedi and formed the Iron Knights. Even though the rest of the Jedi Order were not a was not much accepting this particular upshot of the Jedi Order. Even though that Aquino's dream about them to be part of the Jedi Order would eventually become accepted when Luke Skywalker formed the new Jedi Order many years later. Even at the time of the Galactic Empire, the Shards allied themselves with the Alliance of Restored Republic in order to free the whole world from the occupation of the Empire during the Galactic Civil War. And those shards to ally themselves with the, the Alliance worked as droid and computer technicians for them. 
Despite this, the Charge is one of the very unique species in the entire galaxy that is its sentient but also an inorganic life form. Even though most people probably even, even believe in stories hearing about a crystalline species to be a sentient and also been able, been able to communicate with them. And this is all we know of shards in the Star Wars Expanded Universe.